as an artist, I was really seeking a, uh, a way to connect with um, people uh, through my art. Art is something that I remember uh, being a part of my life uh, from the very beginning. And in my home is where I picked up my first pencils. My mother happened to be a master seamstress. So I was able to be around her artwork, her seamstry, and she would teach me how to draw. And in fact, my brothers, two siblings, Marcus and Tony, and my mother all would draw, and we'd all draw the same thing in a competition. And by the time I was about seven, I was out drawing everybody. So that's pretty much how I got started doing art. And I happen to have a cousin, his name is Aquisi M. Asante, who's from Brooklyn, New York. And in visiting my Aunt Frances, his mother, I would get an opportunity to see Aquisi's beautiful artwork, oil paintings, acrylics, sketches, and it was a tremendous inspiration. And he would take me to um, uh, African uh, festivals and carnivals. So I was really exposed at an early age to um, a, a, a high level cultural experience. I had the fortunate ability to work in um, Union County Public Schools at Monroe Middle, where that one day there was these young people and they were drawing some phenomenal pictures. And I wanted to be a part of that so badly. So, of course, I picked up a pencil and everyone was like, oh man, Mr. C can draw, he can draw. So it kind of started me back in an arts life that I had forgotten all about and neglected. And so I'm very grateful and thankful for the children of Monroe for reminding me who I am. So I would say about 2002 is when I really started this journey as an artist. Um, no sense of direction, no guidance, but I knew I wanted to put something on the walls. And so here I am uh, nearly uh, 20 years later, um, and I'm an ambassador and a patron of the arts for my community. So I am really um, investing everything that I have to make sure that art is a sustainable practice in our community.